What is going on everyone? So it's been a little over a month with the Tab S5e. You guys have been waiting for it. You guys have been asking me, Mark, where is this review? Well, here it is. Now, before we start, I want you guys to know, as always, this review, as any other review I do, uh, will not be anything that involves spec reading. There's going to be no, almost no specs in this entire, entire video. This video is going to be about how does this tablet work in day-to-day -day life to us normal people, okay? Not everyone knows what the latest Snapdragon is. People just want to know, hey, will it work? So that's my review. The screen is however many inches, who cares? It looks amazing. Uh, it is an AMOLED panel, which just means that the blacks will be 100% black and the colors will pop out very nicely. It does follow along the same concept with the iPad when it comes to the front of the device. Uh, I, you know, I pretty much call this truly bezel-less. Of course, there is still a bezel, but if it was any smaller, it would be super uncomfortable to hold. So this is the best that we're going to get when it comes to comfort. Now the back of the device looks pretty simple, just a nice space gray finish. You got your antenna lines, Samsung's uh, logo right in the middle, and then sound by AKG on the bottom. Now the device aspect ratio is 16 by 10. Most of you guys are like, what is that? Who cares? What does that mean? Mark, translate for us. Well, here's what it means. When you're watching movies, it will look much better and more content will be on screen. The iPad Pro 11 inch does have an aspect ratio of 3.3 by 3. E even I don't know what that is, don't ask me. But pretty much you'll have bigger software side bezels when watching movies on the iPad as opposed to the Tab S5e. So if consuming content is your thing, Tab S5e is definitely the way to go. Now the speakers on the Tab S5e do follow the same path as the iPad Pros. You do have four stereo speakers, two on each side and they're super loud and crispy. Now, I'm not gonna be one of those YouTubers that play sound to give you guys an example. It's like, first of all, it goes through this microphone, which let me tell you, is no professional microphone whatsoever. Then it gets compressed through YouTube, and then YouTube is spitting it back out at you through your device's speakers. So essentially, you're just listening to your device speakers. You're not even listening to the true sound of the tablet. So why in the world people do sound tests on YouTube is beyond me, but now I'm rambling and uh, let's get back on point. They sound good. The speakers sound good. They're very loud. They're very crisp. Boom. Now to unlock your device, you can either use face unlock or the trusty fingerprint sensor that's baked into the sleep wake button. Both of them work good, flawless. Let's move on. If you do connect a keyboard or mouse to the device, you will enable Samsung DeX. Again, if you guys don't know, it's pretty much a fancy word for desktop. It pretty much kind of transforms your experience to mimic a desktop, really. I mean, it kind of looks like Windows. Um, it, 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 you know, it looks pretty good, it works really well. If you're a fan of transforming your tablet into more of a desktop experience, you know, with icons, with, you know, movable windows and all that good stuff, you're gonna like it. Apple, take notes, man. Th this is easy. If you, if you want a tablet, don't use Samsung DeX. If you want more of a desktop, you can still use Samsung DeX. All in one package. It's right here. Meanwhile, with iPad, you just got a mobile operating system. You don't got any other version of iOS. You, I mean, now you have iPad OS, but let's be honest, that's still iOS 13. Now, the battery life. The battery life on this beast is amazing. Here's a screenshot I'll plop right there or, or there, wherever it's gonna be. I'll plop it somewhere on the screen, you know me. Now, if you guys can see with both eyes or one eye, listen, I don't know you, you don't know me. I don't know how many eyes you got. Maybe you got three. Maybe you're born next to a power plant. That's not my problem. But, but my main problem is this damn tab doesn't know how to die. 30 hours. We're talking about 30 hours off the charger and 11 hours of screen on time, pretty much. The actual screen time says six hours, which makes no sense because YouTube was at like nine hours if I remember correctly. Again, you guys are seeing a screenshot. So just look on that, don't even talk to me. Don't talk to me. But it's, it makes no sense why the screen says six hours, but YouTube says nine hours. But if you count up YouTube and uh, Amazon Prime, you will see that it's over 11 hours. So 
I'm just gonna I'm, I'm just gonna go with that number. I'm, I'm getting all over 11 hours of screen on time with a tab. It's fantastic. It's, it's great. I love it. I love big batteries. Now, next up is gaming. If you like to play games, this tablet will do just fine. It's big enough to play games and it's smooth enough to play games. Yes, I know it only has a Snapdragon 670 with 4 gigs of RAM. Again, the average person doesn't care. To the average person, this thing will run just fine. No hiccups, no nothing about it. Will this replace your gaming PC? Of course not. It's a tablet. Come on. What are you guys thinking? So keep that in mind. It does run Fortnite and other games just swell. You can see PUBG here, so take that for what you will. Now that being said, I haven't ever really experienced any sort of lag coming from this product. It's been working fine. I've been using it literally every single day from when I got it. Literally every single day, I'm not kidding you guys, for multiple hours on end. I need to find a hobby. But let's not talk about that. It, it doesn't lag. It just works. It does everything I need it to do. And it does it well. So, hey, good job, Samsung. Now notice, I didn't mention cameras. Well, that's mainly because if you take photos from a tablet, you should go Ah, yes, the cameras. Where were we? <clears throat> They're okay. That's all, that's all I can really say about the cameras. They're fine. It's a, it's a tablet. Please don't take pictures from a tablet. Just don't do it. You don't want that kind of trouble. But if you had to do it, if something went wrong with your phone and you needed to take a picture of your son falling down the step of stairs, a step of stairs, oh my God, a flight of stairs, and the, the tab was the only way to get that amazing video, yes, record it 100%. Don't miss out on that opportunity. It's okay, it does the job. Will it be a blessing from Jesus Christ? Probably not, but it's good. So I guess it's time for the conclusion. For $399, this thing is a multimedia beast. Anything from playing games to watching movies, this thing will do just fine and it works super well. It looks super sexy. Everything's beautiful. Mwah, love it. Now, connect a keyboard or a mouse to do some more professional workflow or whatever kind of workflow you do. Listen, I'm not your dad, okay? I don't know. I'm not gonna tell you how to live your life. But if you do wanna live it pretty good, Definitely try out Samsung DeX. It's pretty cool. Well, guys, that's pretty much it. Uh, let's see, what else? 10% off codes from Rhino Shield will be down below. Again, let me, let me, let me say this again so it's clear. 10% off everything on Rhino Shield's website in the description below. Just check that out, click on it, buy something. If you're not buying anything, what are you doing with your life? Get something, it's amazing. I love their cases. But if you enjoyed this video, let me know by flicking that like button or subscribing to me because it makes me realize that there are still people out there that like me. <laughs> All right, guys, that's pretty much it. Uh, this was Mark from Mark's Tech. Adios.